Is your Windows PC showing this annoying error? There was a problem resetting your PC, no changes were made? Then don't worry. In this video, I will guide you through 3 simple steps to fix this issue and get your PC running smoothly again. So let's get started. So first go to Windows search and type CMD. Now click on run as administrator. Now in command prompt window type reagency space forward slash disable and press enter. Next type reagency space forward slash enable and then hit enter. And as you can see the message, the operation is successful. If the operation here does not show successful or if you see the recovery environment missing later, then you should definitely watch this video. Now close command prompt. This refreshes the Windows recovery agent, which often resolves reset issues instantly. Press and hold the shift key, then restart your PC. Once your PC reboots, click Troubleshoot. Then click on Advanced Options. After that, click on Command Prompt. Now here, type this command. WMIC space logical disk space get space device ID comma volume name comma description and press enter. Now here, it's important to note your system drive later. In my case, it's C, but yours might be different. Here's how to check. First type C colon and then press enter. Then type DIR and press enter. If you see folders like program files and recovery, that means you have found your correct Windows partition. But if those folders don't appear, don't worry. Just try another drive later like D or E using the same method until you find the one that contains your Windows installation. Next type. SFC space forward slash can now space forward slash of booter equals C colon backward slash space forward slash of winder equals C colon backward slash windows. Now replace C with your actual system drive and press enter. In this command, I forgot to put a space after this forward slash. So it is very important that you check this command carefully and then press enter. Otherwise, the command won't work. So here I am rewriting this command again. And press enter. Now wait patiently. This can may take several minutes. And now as you can see the message, Windows protection did not find any integrity violation. This means no corruption was found in your system files. Your Windows files are healthy and working correctly. Now close command prompt. Click continue. This process scans and repairs corrupted system files that block the reset function. Now again press and hold the shift key and restart your PC. Click troubleshoot. Then click on reset this PC. Click on keep my files. Select local reinstall. Finally, click reset. And that's it. At this point, your reset should work without showing the same error. Now, I am not performing the reset on my PC because I don't need to reset it right now. I am just demonstrating the process for you. But if you follow these steps carefully on your own PC, your reset will go through smoothly without any problem. So that's it for today. If this tutorial helped you, then please give it a like, share and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials and fixes. Thank you, thanks for watching.